Goa, India's smallest state, lies on the west coast of India on the shores of the Arabian Sea. Famed for its beaches and rave parties, Goa's popularity started in the late 60s as a haven for hippies from around the world. Goa's unique blend of Indian and Portuguese still attracts thousands of tourists to its shores. Goa is located within a three hours flight from the UAE. Air Arabia flies direct five times a week for as little as $400. Hey guys, we're here in Anjuna. It's Wednesday, which means market day. This is the biggest market in Goa. People come here from all over the state just to check out the market. It started in the uh, early 60s. Uh -huh. uh, when the foreigners used to come over here, they used to have a good time. And going back home, they don't have to have any money set up with them. Uh, yeah. so they, they used to sell their own things like clothes or goggles, glasses, anything. They like to sell them and they used to come to Anjuna to sell it. In this market there is a one lane called foreigner lane. There only, is? Yeah, there is only foreigners selling their stuff. Uh -huh. And in all, it, and foreigners are all surrounded all over the market, like people coming all the way from Italy, from other places, selling their stuff. Artistic stuff, not normal stuff. This stuff, the stuff sell over here, you can't get in any other market. So I think we need to go to foreigner's lane. Obviously we have to. My bum is burning. No more A great thing about Goa's rave parties are the vendors on the beach selling everything from omelette sandwiches to cigarettes and gum. Everyone loves to party in Goa, even the locals at this Hindu temple. Panjim is among India's most scenic and quaint state capitals. Filled with tiled roofs, tree-lined avenues and bridges, this is a small yet very fascinating city. So, uh, Alt Altino Hill, the Beverly Hills of Goa. This is the church, called well, Mary Immaculate Church. Well, this church is built by Portuguese in the 16th century. Yeah. And during the olden days, uh, the Portuguese soldier has to stop here and pray for their safe journey back to uh, the Lisbon. So we're here in the Latin Quarter in Goa. Portuguese were here for a few hundred years and uh, you can see these whitewashed churches everywhere in Goa. More than a third of the population are Christian here because of the Portuguese influence. In the 60s, Portugal uh, got kicked out of Goa and this whole state was administered by Delhi. And back in the 80s, they carved it out and made it into its very own state, the 25th Indian state. So, beautiful architecture. <laughs> so, if you're in Panji, the capital of Goa, and you're hungry, there's only one place to go. Mama's Kitchen. This place is highly recommended by everybody. They have the best, authentic, going food without any of the Portuguese influence. So come on in, let's see what's going on. So how's the food, everyone? It is incredible. Hey, we're here at the Goa Saturday Market. We're going to check out the latest fashion in the Goa Saturday Market. Hey, hey, I'm Brendan. Brendan designs his own clothes and sells them here at the market. Yes. Show us what you got, man. Come inside. I'll show you on one of my models. They're all linen and cotton. As you can see, the style, I won't show too much of it. I don't have underpants. <laughs> X-rated. <laughs> X-rated. So it's just clever, well thought out pleats, pleats and gathers to make formal wear more Easy wearing. Where do you get your inspiration will. from for your design? Where do you? Uh... Well, I'm a city kid. I've always been in the city, and I'm inspired by city sleek, chic clothes. Yeah, yeah. That's where all my fabrics are: cotton, linen, and satin, um, silk. These are the hippies I saw at uh, the other market. 
Joanne, I met Joanne at the Wednesday market uh, in Anjuna. And they told me they will be here up selling their things again. I love your necklaces, man. How long you been here? Yeah, two months. You can open. So you need to open it, you need to stretch it. Yeah, yeah. 200 rupias solamente. Solamente. Sí, it's muy barato. Bueno, bonito y barato. It's the wizard hat. You, you like uh, living in Goa? I like, I love yeah. Goa. I love. It is really. lovely, the, isn't the it? The Indian people, I love all the year. Huh? Goa's Saturday night market is a mix of shops, restaurants, and live music and entertainment. So we're going to Arambal Beach today. It's one of Goa's most northerly beaches and it's a super hippie beach. So I have to dress up so I can fit in. My Dubai gear isn't gonna do it. So I got the coconut hat, got the hippie home shirt, and I got some hippie pants. Peace. All right, we're at Arambal Beach. Let's go check out the action. This is one of the most northerly beaches in Goa. The herbal gardens make for a great day trip. You're much better though. It's a refreshment. This is the former capital of Goa. Yeah. In 1550, this place was bigger than London or Paris, but smaller than Rome. Mm -hmm. But um, the reason why this, the Portuguese chose this place to be the capital is very simple. It is on the banks of Goa's longest river, Mandovi. That's the Mandovi River. Mandovi river. Yeah. And it is exactly 14 kilometers to the Arabian Sea. So it was well shielded from the Dutch, the Spanish and the French who were the invaders. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the good thing about this river, you could be on a boat in the middle of the river, half a kilometer from the sea, yet you will not know that the river is draining out into the Arabian Sea. Mm -hmm. So that was why they chose this place to be the capital. Mm -hmm. 